So the context is I went to GPA. I was trying to find something. Well, I wasn't actually trying to find anything. I was trying to run away from my life because everything else was uh -huh. depressing. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like I was going there to find my faith. I was just like trying <laughs> to run away from everything else that existed in my And I, it's not like I didn't have friends. You know, I had friends, but mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, you get the point. Um, <laughs> and so... When I got there, though, everybody was just like juiced about wanting to find your faith. I was just like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> I kind of bought into the workshop feel of GPA. It's just a uh -huh, year-long workshop. Uh -huh. And uh, it's so it's so vital. I think it's so critical for your life. I, I, I'm actually a big fan of GPA. Mm -hmm. But I, f I was so frustrated because for me, I, was, I felt like I, I had this long gap um, that I needed to work my way up to this point of wanting to even have that faith. And I kind of got there. I really wanted what everybody else was having. And then, man, these guys would come back from these conditions, fundraising conditions, like 21 days, and they'd come back and they're like, yeah, I was just fundraising. And, uh, <laughs> you know, all of a sudden someone gave me a thousand dollars. I met God. And I, I would get so angry at that, um, th at that experience. I was like, what do you, what? Like <laughs> every day I was out there and I, I fundraised hard. I worked really hard and I would, I would hit the ground and I would try doing my internal goals and I'd push really hard, but I'd feel nothing mm -hmm. for months. I would just hear these testimonies that seemed like they were just like, like happenstance, like moments where just people would give them money and then they would experience God. And I was like, it can't be that easy. Like, I, what am I missing? Um, and so I ran on, on one of the, the final conditions before we went to a winter competition, I ran out. I was so angry at this testimonies at the testimony night and people's experiences and, and God bless them. I, I'm glad, gl grateful, you know, that they had those experiences, but I was just so angry that I, I ran outside in the winter and I just, I, okay, it's a little crazy. I'm a little bit extreme mm -hmm. but uh, I, I like ripped off my shirt in the dead of winter and I started <laughs> oh to God. punch a tree wait what are you serious yeah i started to punch and i was just screaming it was super windy it was like a storm at that uh -huh. time no one could hear me and i was way off in the distance and i just started to punch a tree and like punch the ground and i was screaming at god i was like god what the i do like what are you doing man like right, i'm right. trying so hard i'm leaving everything out of line i'm mm -hmm. doing everything like I, I, why can i have this experience why do i feel nothing i don't know if you guys like know that feeling of feeling yeah, nothing yeah. while everyone's feeling everything it's like the frustrating it, it frustrating is thing. i can like, totally relate it's like yeah. the highest level of like fomo you know like you're just like totally <laughs> not in the same way you know? and so after that moment i just like kind of like went crazy and i like okay i was like all right go back in i put my shirt back on <laughs> it's kind of weird but anyway in the moment you know i felt like the right thing i just needed to let go uh i walked back in and then they walked mm -hmm. up to me and said joshua we're sending you to Alaska. Mm -hmm. We haven't sent anyone in the winter to Alaska in 10 years. Okay. Because it's dangerous. And so um, I was just like, what? And uh, I went to Alaska and Alaska was the most painful experience ever. Like I mm -hmm. got frostbite. Have you ever had midway frostbite and then the blood rush back into your hand? No. It's easily the most painful thing in the world it's excruciating and is I it because the blood that's coming back is so cold i don't know why it's just uh, pain it feels like someone's stabbing you in the mm -hmm. finger fingertips or ripping your fingernails out it's the worst <sighs> um, and so alaska was just like just jarringly cold i'm a california boy right um, right right it's just worse. <laughs> i have no skin you guys are built different um and uh alaska was just so painful and i just kind of at, at one point I feel like God was guiding me there because he needed me to break down my physical body. Quite literally, I was mm -hmm. doing everything. I was right. doing the internal goals, but it was all just within the physical realm of just doing mm -hmm. just these are the tasks, do them. And mm -hmm. I can do them because I was a cross country runner. I was strong. I was able to push through. Mm -hmm. There was one thing that I couldn't break through and that it just like was breaking past my limitation. And so mm -hmm. God like, broke everything down and there was one night where it's another extreme moment but i had decided to do a condition where however much i didn't do i would do in push-ups however much i missed my goal i would do in push-ups and i missed my goal by like 216 or dang something. that's intense that's intense i was like i do <laughs> 216 push -ups. anyway it was, this was already hell it was three weeks in and i was right. at the, in the basement of a church 
and I started to do the push-ups and I had my timer and I was like, I realized I can't do this many. So I started doing mm -hmm. planks for a number of minutes. And I just remember like having a moment where I was just like, what the hell am I doing? Like, what the, what the I do. is this? I'm in the <laughs> middle of freaking Alaska. Uh huh. Dead of winter. I could have had a career in running. Mm -hmm. And I'm out here doing planks. <laughs> I didn't make money. Right. I just had a moment and I was in front of True Parents Picture and I was just like, what is this? And I just started yelling and screaming at God. I was like, mm -hmm. what the hell? Like, my life sucks. This sucks. Everything sucks. And I took my phone and I chucked it against the wall and I swear the dent is still on the wall. And, I went back <laughs> to um, and uh, in a moment, I looked up. I was crying for myself. I looked up and mm -hmm. I saw a True Parents picture. And their entire, I swear, their entire life story, as I understood it, flashed before my eyes mm -hmm. when I looked at that picture. And in a, in a split second, those tears that were entirely for myself became tears that were entirely out of gratitude. Oh, wow. Because I realized that in all the struggle that I'm experiencing right now, there was someone who went through it much, much worse mm. and someone who did it for me. Mm. Right. That was like a moment of salvation for me. And uh, after that, like I, I never looked back. It was just, that was the first time I had ex really experienced God. I felt God just like in that gratitude. And I, I realized that like, man, how, how can I complain? This is anyway, that, that was like, mm. I, my limit broke. Okay. And I, I left the place of just doing things physically and and started to realize the other the other side of life. In that moment where yeah. you were doing but like but like how? How did it click for you in your head? Because I I mean were you just so moved by Yeah, I think I I always say the foundation of the foundation of the foundation of the foundation of faith is gratitude. You can't, you can't actually have faith if you don't actually first have gratitude. And in that moment, I experienced that foundation of foundations. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for something. Someone has loved me. And I realized that as God. And I saw that in true parents. And that, that just, that washed everything. From that moment, I was, I've been, you know, committed to figuring it out. It was not easy after that. Every day after that was a commitment of figuring, really pushing and figuring it out. Not just my physical pushing, but spiritually. Mm. <clears throat> that's that's really intense. <laughs> the way yeah, I'm a little that. intense. I don't know. It's just, just my walk. I don't know. Um, but wow. I never thought about it like that. Like the foundation of all foundations of foundations is gratitude. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's so simple, but so complex at the same time. Yeah, it's real simple. You can't love something that, ha you know, like the whole idea is that God loved first. It, mm -hmm. Until you recognize that, you can't love it back. Anything mm -hmm. back. The whole idea that you love your parents is that they loved you first. Right. So, but the, the act of recognizing that love, I, I call that gratitude. Huh. Okay. okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so... So you would say that was a moment that, like, it it settled, like, concretely for you, like that you wanted to. Um. I I mean, like, develop more your faith. Yeah, it's like it clarified the end goal. Okay. Like, wow, that's what I want to. I want to be in a place where I can, um, practice and experience this love, whatever I'm feeling right now. Hmm. Hmm. And do you, would you say that's what? keeps motivating you to this day yeah i think back on that story all the time um now i have experiences more experiences those things continue to motivate and um i don't know i, I have people in my life i love now that uh also motivate. <laughs> not just your family <laughs> not just my family you know right yeah. 